All right, you guys, we are here at Port Villa International Airport. So excited for the next couple days. This is gonna be so much fun. Guys, I'm really excited. This Warwick Le Lagoon, Le Lagoon. Um, it's a really nice little resort. It's right off of the water, and the rooms look super nice. And um, I'm really excited. They also have some tours, so I'm gonna go downstairs and get signed up with one of their tours. It comes with breakfast and everything. Um, yeah, super excited for this place. Let me show you guys the bathroom. Put my stuff down. <laughs> some Australian milk. They give you a little bit of coffee. Nice. Wow, they give you a whole vanity area. That's fantastic. Looks like this is the shower. And then the bathroom. Oh, I'm really excited for the next couple days, you guys. Oh. So you guys, Vanuatu is a really special island because both the French and the British came together to colonize the island at the same time. So they brought their courts, their laws, everything with them, and they combined both of it into like a co-op uh, between the French and the British. And if you know French and British history, you know that the French and the British do not get along. So this is like a very rare place. <laughs> um, basically one of the only places where the French and the British got along and they came together um, basically, you know, to colonize the, the area. Um, this is a really, really cool place. I did not think it was going to be this advanced and beautiful and pretty with all these resorts and restaurants and all this stuff to do. Um, but this is like a little paradise, you guys. It's not very well known in the United States. We don't know a lot about Vanuatu, but I, I'm just, I'm looking out my window and I'm going, oh my gosh, I can't wait to go explore this place. So I went down and got some dinner. This is just some orange juice. Looks like they have the little seaweed salad, ginger, soy sauce, and then this is a shrimp uh, sushi roll. Looks so good. And then these chips, they kind of just give out as like a little appetizer to everyone. Is there offer cake? I think it has some chocolate, caramel. I'm not exactly sure what's in it, but it looks really good. So this is really my, it's my second day, um, kind of halfway through the second day here in Vanuatu. I just went to the museum right behind me. Um, it was a really cool museum. It has a lot of information on cannibalism. Um, James Cook, the explorer who found the Cook Islands, uh, he died by cannibalism over in Hawaii. So um, they have some really interesting, uh, you know, kind of articles and displays about um, some of the things that he witnessed when he came over to Vanuatu. Um, lots of interesting stuff. I got uh, breakfast at my hotel this morning. They had like a nice little breakfast buffet. Um, i trying to think of what else I've done today. I went to Computer World and just got a, another um, uh, charger for my phone. Right now I'm headed over to a place called Coffee Time. I think it's called Coffee Time. Um, it's just a nice little coffee shop. So I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day. guys we're at the coffee tree and this is a really cute little kind of hidden cafe back here got some iced coffee with ice cream in it and then this is um i had one of these for breakfast it's like a very buttery roll that they have here thank you so much and this is the coffee tree it's a really cute little coffee shop so i thought it would be fun just to kind of walk around the village um kind of like the well the residential and the commercial part of the town of Port Villa. 
Um, I just kind of take some video and show you guys what it looks like around here. It's a really cute little town. And this is the cleanest island in the South Pacific. So it's really nice, you guys. place is called Nambawan Cafe. It's right off of the water and they have uh, croquendom and quesadillas. I have no idea what that is, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, super, super pretty little place to come visit. All right, you guys, I got my croquemillion quesadilla. Looks like it's just ham, cheese, and egg. It looks really good. I thought it might have cheese on the outside. some stores over here. This is the Grand Hotel and Casino. If you guys are thinking about staying here, it's right off the water. Looks like there's some Chinese restaurants here. I've also seen a lot of um, specific medical professions here, like they have dentists, eye doctors, uh, just certain specific professions that you don't see on other islands, so that's kind of cool. This is definitely a great island to vacation in if you're just looking for a getaway and you don't want to spend tons of money like you would if you were in Fiji. Um, this is kind of like the hidden gem of the South Pacific. There's also not too many businesses owned by the Chinese here, which is a little bit surprising because all the other islands um, have a lot of Chinese businesses, but this is not one of those islands. Uh, everything is very much French or uh, English as far as like the type of foods and, um, you know, the architecture and yeah, it, it's... It's different. It's definitely different than the other islands. It's, uh, it has its own little unique twist to it. There's also some little huts that you can stay in across the way. Those are like little um, beach huts or beach homes that you can stay in. There's another casino on that island. You can take your boat and sail across if you want to. So. This is a really cute little area over here. I'm gonna be honest, when I saw this sign, I thought this was for uh, people with HIV. 
Here's the Golden Port Hotel. This is a Chinese owned uh, hotel. I assume that they, I guess they don't have a casino in there. Oh, okay, Casino 21 right across the street. Yeah, there's a big casino right across the street. Okay, I knew there was gonna be one next to it somewhere. <laughs> it's just dis disconnected from the hotel. All right. This is a really famous brand um, in the Pacific. They're called Julie's Pacific Crackers. You'll see these everywhere, this brand. Looks like they have some takeaway or some to-go food in this grocery store as well. This is a pretty nice grocery store. They have all kinds of stuff. You guys, I've been looking everywhere for a cup that just says Tanawatu and I get up here and it says Liverpool Football Club. I was so excited. I thought this was gonna be a cup. I keep looking for a cup. I keep going into souvenir shops and they have every single souvenir except for a cup. All right guys, so I'm back at the hotel. Um, that was super fun just exploring the town and uh, just kind of going to you know different stores and places. Um, I definitely should have booked some water sports ahead of time. There is a place to go kayaking and I was thinking about doing that, but I don't know, <laughs> just, I'm tired. I'm gonna go relax at this awesome hotel I have. Um, also, the public transportation system here is super easy to teach you guys. Um, there's bus stops literally everywhere. You'll see like a little blue sign with a little truck on it, um, or a bus on it, I should say. You can uh, flag them down really easily. You just kind of go like that to them. And the trips, the price of the trips, they vary. The shortest trip is going to be 120. Um, that you want, I don't know, dollars. <laughs> it's the equivalent to about a dollar and 25 cents USD. Um, a little bit longer trip is going to be 200. Um, I did take a taxi this morning too, just because I kind of had to. Um, and they way overcharged me. I ended up paying like $11 for like an eight minute trip. So, uh, yeah, don't don't take the taxis if you're here. It's a complete ripoff and the buses are just as good and the buses are everywhere It's so much easier to find a bus than a taxi. So um, Yeah, highly recommend the buses. They're not bad at all um, I don't know what else. I, I mean this place does have a little lagoon. I think you can go kayaking here I, I mean I still could go kayaking. They even have little boats that you can take I don't know. I'll think about it. I might just want to relax for the rest of the day. They also have a spa here, but um, I don't know. I looked at their menu. They only have a couple things that they offer, which it's not bad, but I just, I decided to skip it this one time. I don't know. I'm just being, I'm too lazy for the spa, you guys. That's how, that's how tired I am. I've been traveling. Um, just to give you guys an idea, I've been traveling for, yeah, four months is quite a long time. Um, you do get tired of traveling after a while. It doesn't seem like you ever would, but uh, I can tell you guys that I'm a little bit tired of just going and seeing things and going to museums and um, just going, going, going. So I'm excited. I'm coming to the very end of my trip. I have one more month. I'm going to go to Sydney, uh, Myanmar, and South Korea, and then I'm all done. <laughs> so um, I don't know. This is a really fantastic vacation spot, though, you guys. It's super affordable. It's really, really nice and clean. Everybody's friendly. It's so peaceful. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10 Vanuatu. I was not, I wasn't expecting this, but this is like the nicest island ever. I think this is my favorite island out of all the South Pacific I've seen.